Alright, I'm back with another mod, and this time it is a um, mob type of a mod, and it adds um, this thing called Charlotte, the female companion, and it's basically like this uh, girl that will follow you around and heal you and stuff like that. So let me go ahead and show you it. This one is pretty extensive on how to install it because there's a lot of stuff you have to do. Let me go ahead and get out of here. Let's see. I think I'm on peaceful. Yeah. You have to have it on at least easy for her to spawn. Hey, I'm here. And for some reason, there's two of them. Um, usually, there's only supposed to be one that spawns, but I don't know why there's two. So let me go ahead and show you if I get hurt. Ow. Let oh. me patch you up. There, she patched me up. <clears throat> oh, thanks, man. Then you can heal them. Um, you can put them on your shoulders if you left-click them. So if I do that. Oh man, there's some creepers over there. We better get out of here. Put it on my shoulders. And, uh, on. one cool thing. Um, supposedly she's supposed to be able to get into boats, but I haven't figured out how to do that yet. But you can get into a boat with her on your shoulders, but the only problem with that is it just launches you. So let's see. Let me go pick her up. Whatever direction you're facing when you pick her up, it will just launch you. So there we go. We're just taking off in our boat now. Look how fast we're going. Uh-oh. Yeah. And now we crashed. So that's that. There's um there's a whole bunch of stuff that uh she can do. I just haven't figured it all out yet and I forget most of the stuff. But I don't know. I guess if you're bored, this is fun to mess around with. So let me go ahead and show you how to install it now. Um You're going to need or actually hold on. I'm gonna go in I'm gonna go go ahead and uh clean out my Minecraft so I can cleanly install this for you. So, I'll be back. Alright, so I cleaned out my uh, .minecraft folder, and I'll go ahead and show you how to install this now. So first off, you're going to need spawn list, mod loader, audio mod, and the mod itself. So let me show you where to get these from. So, when you go to download the mod, it'll be, I'll give you a link to this page, and you just scroll down and um, it says download is here, just click here and it should drop down a box like this I'm not gonna save it because I already have it so it should cancel and then um, for the spawn list I'll give you a link to this page and you're gonna scroll down and just click on download and it'll give you another box like this but I already have it so I won't do it and um, I'll put the link in the description for the mod loader and the audio mod and when you click on the link on those it'll drop down a box like this so you don't need to go to any website to get those. You just do it straight on the YouTube page. So let me go ahead and show you how to do this now. So we can go down here. If you're on Windows 7, you can just type in percent app data percent down into here. But if you don't have Windows 7 and you say you're on XP, what you're going to do is you're going to type in run. And then you're going to look for a program called run. You're going to open that up. And then in here, you're going to type in percent app data percent percent, and then just hit OK. And it'll open up your roaming folder. And you're going to want to open up your dot Minecraft. And um, you're going to need a WinRAR or some sort of archiving program to do this. So I'll put a link in the description description for that too. 
So now that you have your dot minecraft folder open, you're going to go into your bin and you're going to scroll down to where it just says minecraft. This is your minecraft jar. You're going to right click it and do open with WinRAR Archiever. Now you can minimize your dot minecraft folder. We'll pull this over here. So I've organized these from easy, easiest to hardest to install. So first, open up spawn list, and all you can do for spawn list is take this class and drag it into here, into these classes. So now we're done with spawn list. Now mod loader. Going to highlight all of these classes and drag them over to these classes. Hit OK. Now we're done with mod loader. Now for the audio mod, you're going to take this IBMX or IBXM and you're just going to drag that folder over here and hit OK. So now you can see it has the IBXM over here. And over here you're going to open up Paul's code, then open up sound, and then open up codex. Come back over here, open up Paul's code, open up sound open up codex and drag this codec class into here hit OK then just hit up to go back to this same with this and now you're going to take this TM class and just drag it into your classes hit OK and now you're done with the audio mod now we're going to install the mod itself so you can see it says audio resources and jar files since we're already in the jar we're gonna go ahead and do jar files first so open up jar files and then come over here and open up mob and then open up mob on this one and just take this charlotte and drag it into the mob and okay and now we're gonna take these classes and drag them into here. Hit OK. Now we can hit up again. And um, as you can see right here, I have the meta inf folder, M E T A dash I N F. If you have this, just click on it, right click it, and delete files. Hit OK. So it deletes that folder. That folder will stop mods from working. So always delete that if you're installing a mod. So now we're done with this we can open back up our dot minecraft and we're gonna open up audio resources and then open up resources and then just take this folder called mod and just drag it in like that and now you are done and you can go into your game and play around you only get one of uh, charlotte I don't know why it spawned two that time. That's pretty rare for that to happen, I guess, but it did that time. And if you kill her, she will not spawn again, from what I've been told many times. So don't kill her. So that's it. I hope this helps out. And uh, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.